What's good y'all? I am Slime Green Beats and this is a FO Studio side chaining tutorial. So this is how to side chain in FO Studio 20. So like what is side chaining, right? Um so in this video, yeah, I'm gonna explain what is side chaining, show you how to side chain like straight up from scratch. I don't even have a base, anything base pulled up. I'm just gonna straight up do the whole thing. So um yeah, stay with me and yeah, this is side chaining in FO Studio 21. So what is side chaining? Side chaining is basically like when you duck a sound for another sound when two sounds are kind of competing, usually in the same octave. So for example, the kick and the bass, like when the when the kick hits, the bass kind of ducks in volume. You could look at it that way, you know, gain, however you want to look at it. Um, and so you can hear the kick a little bit easier. So this is done, uh, this is a common theme in mixing, like a lot, of, a lot of mixing techniques are basically just separating the sounds. Like when you use panorama, like panning, or um, you know, like whatever, um, a lot of mixing is separating sounds and getting the most out of the sounds, and this is just a classic example of that. So basically what we're doing is we want the kick to sound more clear on the track by ducking that bass only when the kick hits. So, and that can be done easily in FS Studio 20, 21. So it's, it's very cool because this is kind of a complicated thing to do. I mean, seriously, try to figure this out from scratch without FL Studio. <laughs> like, um, but anyway, so... Let's let's get to it. I'm going to show you guys how to do this with the kick and the bass. I also do this with the hat and the snare. So the hi-hat's playing when the snare hits. I kind of have the, the hi-hat duck a little bit. So you can hear the snare a little bit more clear. So I'm, I'm and, and yeah. Okay, so let, let's just go ahead and get a bass here. We're in uh, GMS. I'm just going to play like a very basic bass pattern. Let me just get like a very basic bass sound. Mm, like a typical bass sound. That's a good example. So let's use that and um, let, let's just do this so we can just get this over with. Okay, that's perfect. And then let's see, where is this thing? Okay, let's get a kick, just a random kick pattern. Sure. Perfect, right? So we have the kick, and we have. Let's just put this in one and two here. So let's let's go to the mixer here. So we clearly have the kick here. This is clearly the bass, right? Okay. Um. So you would typically side chain the kick to the bass, which means you're gonna want to have the limiter up on the bass. So bring the limiter up on the bass, and don't worry if this is confusing. You pr you probably have to just try this a couple times, and you'll you'll kind of like get the hang of it. Uh, even I usually actually have this on a template. So like on my template, I usually already have this connected. So I don't even like actually do this. But um, okay, I think you right click. Yep, side train to this track. Right click. So while you're in, in insert one, or I have this highlighted, right click here, side chain to this track. So now it's side chained here. And um, it reacts. I usually use the limiter. I know there's other tools you can use, but use the limiter. Right click this. You should see one of the one of them here. Insert one. Now if you name this, it might be a little bit easier. So say for instance, I uh name this let's let's name this like kick. Okay. Now in this in this limiter, we should see when you're selecting this, should pick the kick. Okay. I, I like it when it when it shows a name because that's how I know I'm selecting the right thing, okay? So now we see like the bass playing. It's not too loud. Maybe we'll turn the gain up a little bit. Okay. Um, now the comp is kind of like where we're dealing with the side chaining here. And again, guys, there's another. There's a lot of different ways to side chain. This is like one, probably the most popular method in FL. Uh, and you're just gonna play with the threshold and the ratio here. So turn the threshold down. Turn the ratio to the right, basically up. You know, now you'll see it kind of hitting through. And then you just play with it. Is that what I want? That's taking out a lot right there. What happens if the ratio is always, always up? See, so you turn the threshold down. So it's good to just play with this to understand what's going on. Now, what is the thre threshold, and th threshold and ratio? Man, I'll have to come up with a whole new video where I explain that one. But, um, 
you kind of like i would just play with these two knobs and figure it out yourself I, I think that's the best way to explain it because um yeah so like basically if i turn the ratio you kind of see it uh god i wish i would have thought of a, i wish i would have had the definition for this before <laughs> before i made this video because i actually don't know the definition of it i just kind of know what it does uh let's see yep so when you bring the ratio down threshold you kind of the key is to just look at this right here and be like okay is this cutting as much as i want it to or is it not enough like see if i turn the threshold up too much then now it's not cutting and then now it's whatever dude i don't get paid enough for these youtube videos what do i look like freaking dr dre i freaking quit bro i quit i'm never making another video subscribe though totally subscribe and buy this video this this book um i'm totally joking I'm back. I, I unretired. I'm like Michael Michael Jordan coming back to the Wizards. I'm back, baby. I'm back. I just took some time off for my own personal health and whatnot, my mental health. But that's how you side chain. It's not particularly hard thing to do. Uh, I'll do it again with the kick and the hi hat and the snare, just because um, I'm a side chaining machine, baby. Okay, let's. Let's get a let's get a hi hat and a snare in here, all right? Uh, God, let's let's not let's not screw this up because I do not want to make this video again. All right, let's see. See how these two are kind of hitting at the same time, and when they hit at the same time, the exact same time, it's kind of like overwhelming and sh just strong. So how do we get the snare to pop like we just did? So let's see. We side chain the kick to the base so whatever we want to pop we're going to want to side that's like what we side chain the thing to so if we want the snare to pop we're going to side chain it to the hi-hat and let's name this snare like we did with the other one god this is killing my ears right now uh limiter all right now let's go to the comp here right click i like to right click Snare, okay, now we know we have the right thing. And then again, we play with the threshold and ratio until it makes a sense. Uh, now it's cutting through it. See how it's cutting through it? It's like, how much do you want it to cut through it? Turn the threshold all the way down if that's what you want. Like, full cut. This is basically like the hi-hat is even hitting. If you listen to it, that's kind of what it sounds like. It sounds like they're just rotating. Now this is like... So I, I think this would be a cool example. You can kind of see like... Right, let's see. Let's expand the hi hat here, mm, and then let's look at it like that. It's kind of what the limiter is looking like, and then uh, come on. Yeah, I love doing this. I don't know if this makes me an elite mixer, but sometimes I feel like I don't know how many other producers are really like side chaining the high end the snare, even though it's so easy to do. But in this video, guys, I hope you learn how to how to side chain. Um, hope you guys learn how to side chain. That's all I can say. Because if you didn't, then um, I quit. <laughs> I'm on edge, bro. I've been doing YouTube for a long time, bro. Um, yeah, you know, and just to talk about that for a second. Um, Cause I know like, I don't, nobody cares that I'm slowing down with videos. I know nobody cares in reality. I'm sure everyone has their own lives that are way more important. But, um, for those of you who do care, um, I am slowing down for sure with the videos. Uh, no doubt about it. I'm actually trying to focus more on just actually making music. So I'm like working on my album. Uh, I'm still going to post like random tutorials like this, but not as frequently because like, unless I feel like kind of passionate about something or like. I really feel like it's worth it then i'll go ahead and post but like um like i said i'm, I'm trying to just focus more on making my own music i don't want to be known as a, as a youtube tutorialist to be honest with you guys i'd rather like it's cool but i'd rather be known as a great musician i'd rather just be a great musician i don't want to do youtube tutorials i don't know if youtube's even going to pay me next year dude they keep going down in their rates they keep going down which means i'm going out straight up um <clears throat> trying to focus on other things that actually are better for me in the long term but anyways guys i done sacrificed a lot for these videos for like the likes and subscribes 
I sacrifice a lot, a lot of my own personal time, um, a lot of my own personal time. As you can see, I've uploaded thousands of videos. Trust me, I don't have like a bot that sits here and types all this crap. I did all this myself. Um, so, um, so yeah, uh, I don't even know what I'm getting at. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Oh, I'm very happy with my music career. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just getting older and I'm just like, hey, I need to focus more on my actual music and like actually, you know, progressing as a musician. I just feel like this is just something I do really for fun, but honestly to make money and sell books. <clears throat> I'd be straight up lying if I told you I wasn't doing this for money. I'd only do this for money. Not only, but like, I, I, I like the community. I like teaching. I like giving away value. I like helping others. I like all that. But um, this isn't like, I only do, I do this for like YouTube ad rev. And YouTube ad rev is going down. So like, I'm, I'm again, I'm going out. That's just as real as it could possibly get for me. Uh, this is Slime Green Beats. Check out the How to Make Beats book brought to you by Slime Green Beats. I got another business I'm working on called Mellow Blue. I do hair products. Um, and that's kind of the direction I'm headed right now. I'm, I'm low-key getting too old for YouTube, um, which I don't think any of you will ever understand how that feels till you reach your 30s. You'll start to realize everyone successful at YouTube is younger than you. Um, it, start, it starts to get into your head. And honestly, I'm blessed to have uh, uh, I do I do work full time as a I do I do internet marketing so I am a full time I do have I'm blessed to have a full time job internet marketer I do this like on the side um, I love music you know my, don't ever doubt my my love for beat making or music production I love music um, I'm going hard for those of you who don't know my cousin is Nelly so music does run in my family um, literally like I have the same music it's, it runs in the family my brother was a national champion and um and uh his marching band he won a national championship my dad was a drum major so like music runs in my family nelly's obviously my cousin um but yeah i don't know like i just feel like I'm talking about life right now <laughs> thank you guys for always supporting and subscribing to the channel um honestly guys if i had to give like I I I'm happy for you guys that you guys don't have to make tutorial videos because I wish I spent more time just making beats and watching tutorials to be honest and get just getting better at making music. Uh, but I'm on that vibe now. I have no regrets really. But um, yeah, it's just life moves on, man. Life moves on. Cue Nelly Furtado. All good things come to an end. Drain to dust, lovers to friends. Why do all good things come to an end? Let me show you my um sponge, and then I'm done with this video. We got a hair sponge. Um, yeah, link in the description for everything. Hair product, hair sponge. I'm losing my freaking mind, baby. I'm losing my mind, baby. I'm losing my mind. You ever get old and then you realize, holy cow, I just went through my twenties. And I wasted a lot of time with X and Y. I'm going to say one more somewhat controversial thing and then I'm out this video. All right. I'm going to say this and I hope I hope I save somebody and I hope I make somebody $100,000 more by the time they're 30 years old. Get off of social media. Get off of social media fast. Don't waste any more of your time doing pointless crap that isn't good. Don't waste any more of your time. People thought smoking was healthy. People thought smoking cigs was healthy for like 40, 50 years. Social media has only been around for like 10, 15, 20. Get out, dude. I, 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 I honestly think ever since I've quit, I've felt smarter. I've been making better financial choices. I feel like I've been using my time better in life. Like, keep in mind, this video is 14 minutes. There's probably some of you that have already spent 14, 15 minutes on social media today already. Um, I vehemently protest against it. I think it, it's bad. I think it makes you, I think it hurts social skills. I think it hurts society as a result. Um, I'm very much against it. I, th I think some people would probably, it hurts money, dude. I think some people, if they weren't on social media, there's, a, there's always people I know personally. This is one person in particular. I feel like if he was on social media, he'd probably be almost a millionaire by now. 
Like some people are like that. If I was on social media, I wish I'd never wasted a second. Other than you know, YouTube is probably worth it. But uh, other other than that, um, I think it's been a complete waste of time. And honestly, guys, like if I had to be real and say something that has almost nothing to do with beat making, bro, the this is some real beat making tips. So, bro, the thirty minutes you spend on Instagram, bro, put that in beat making and see where your life, see how your life transforms, or put that into weightlifting, or put that into reading a book. Or put that into something actually useful. Call your parents. Call your girlfriend for those 15, 14 minutes. See if it doesn't make a significant difference in your life. Um, get your time back. Because I, I wasted. I, I wish I had all the hours I spent on social media in my 20s back. Um, now, I know you did not think that this video would go in this direction. But that's this is just honestly how I feel right now. So, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I <laughs> hope you guys learned how to sidechain. Subscribe for more vids. I am not done yet. Slime is still alive. Um, but, man, you know what I'm saying? I just, I feel like I just, I don't know. Like, I, I can't explain it. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot going, you know, now I'm just mumbling. All right, y'all. Y'all, I love y'all. Y'all take care. Um, stay safe. Eat healthy. Uh, you know. Stay fly. Keep making beats. Keep making the heats, baby. Keep making the heat, baby. Stop making tight beats. Okay, that's that's getting too personal. All right, y'all. Oh, yeah, stay tuned for my new album. My new album's coming out, too. It's beautiful. Uh, the album's, like, super hard. Uh, yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.